What's going on, y'all? Like a dipper here. All right. So we got another dip review. Dip review for you. But first, I'm gonna tell you the story. Living in a small town, you see the same thing over and over. And the same thing goes with products, specifically tobacco products. Um, and whenever you do get something new, usually it's bought up within an instant. Uh, today. We actually found a new product that I have not really seen around this town. Um, we were driving on the outskirts of town and I found a can of these and I thought I'd pick it up. And we got some Kodiak pouches. I don't know if y'all can see that there. Um, so the only place that I've really found these is at the Shell gas station down the street and they are $9.50 a can last time I knew, which is absolutely horrendous. I don't care if it's made of gold. I'm not paying $9.50 for a can of death. Uh, the outskirts of town, we stopped at a BP to get gas, and they had one can of these left, so I figured why not. I thought I'd try it. <clears throat> so I paid $5.67, which is, I can usually get Kodiak for about 6 bucks. the tobacco store here. They just didn't have this one, so this is uncracked. Um, I really do like the color on this can. It's like a mintish blue green it reminds me of the scooby-doo mystery machine almost the color wise so all right well i've talked to you off this so open this up here Oof! holy crap those are strong so that's what they look like um they kind of look like grizzly pouches so let's get one of these here it's like to see what they look like okay so they, they look a lot darker than normal so <laughs> okay so they're very moist um <clears throat> i know most people don't really dip pouches um you know, some, some do, but most, you know. Uh, and usually, I'm not a big pouch person, especially those cheaper brand. But I figured that since this was a premium brand type pouch, I figured I'd give it a shot. You know, I'd, I've actually never seen Kodiak pouches before. Or I've never I've never tried them. I think I've seen them a couple of times, but way out of my price range. And I'm outside, as you can probably hear the neighborhood cast. We got 500 of them around here. We're gonna let this soak in. As you can see behind me, this is actually out uh, back of my apartment building. Um, you can see all the bricks and everything. These were from the floods a few months ago. It hasn't been cleaned up, so hopefully we'll get there soon. Okay, so very strong. I will tell you that. Um, <coughs> wow. These are probably one of the best pouches I've ever had. It doesn't like make your lip like puff out, but it also don't, <clears throat> doesn't really, it burns a little bit, but just enough to make you feel like you're getting a buzz. Um, overall cane design, the burn on the nicotine. I gotta say these are almost a perfect 10 out of 10. If I had these more around here, I would definitely buy these. <clears throat> now, hell, for 560 a can for Cody Egg, that's pretty damn good, I mean. So I'm actually going to go 10 out of 10. I would definitely recommend getting me some Kodiak pouches if possible. I do know Kodiak has the uh, <coughs> highest nicotine content, so one or two when you're good to go. So, all right. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see, what you want me to try, what I should look out for. Uh, don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all next time.